So the Bills up until this point have already worked out four different punters. They worked out Ty Long, the former punter from the Chargers. Michael Pilardi, uh, he was with the Panthers from uh, 2016 to 2020. Miami in 2021. Then Tyler Newsom, they worked out. He's actually never punted in the regular season before. They worked him out. And then Joseph Charleston, or Charlton, excuse me. He's played for two teams in two years, and he suffered a back injury, which ended his tenure with his previous team. So those are the four punters the Bills have currently already had in for a workout. But based on what we're hearing over the last couple of days, makes you wonder, will either of those four guys even be in contention? We've seen two other guys emerge, one in particular, that seems to be the favorite amongst the Bills fans. The other guy, Marquette King. Now, Marquette King, he was a household name for a while as a punter. Six seasons with the, Ra- uh, the Raiders. Some great years when he was with the Raiders. He led the NFL in punt yards in 2014. He was second team All-Pro in 2016, but he hasn't played in the NFL since 2018. His career ended with the Raiders weird situation he never retired he was kind of blacklisted from the nfl john gruden had issues with his personality uh which is odd because a lot of people have issues with john gruden's personality so that's just uh, you can take that with as big a grain of salt as you can imagine even so marquette king has not played in the nfl since 2018 but when he did he was a force and uh, on twitter he was you know he held nothing back. He, but he puts out on Twitter and says, hey, Buffalo, I want a ring. Let's make it happen. And uh, according to sources, Marquette King has been in contact with the Bills. Uh, up until now, they haven't worked him out like the other four that I have mentioned. But he has been in contact with the Bills. So they are doing their due diligence. They are going through and looking at everybody. But the one guy that has just emerged and more or less seems to be the guy that everybody amongst Bill's Mafia right now currently wants. And for good reason. It's Brett Kern, the former, now former, as of today, Tennessee Titan punter. Brett Kern had been with the Titans since 2009, and he was terrific during his time there. 13 seasons with Tennessee, three straight Pro Bowl appearances, a first team all pro selection in 2019 the reason the titans moved off of him not because he isn't a great punter it's because they had an undrafted uh an undrafted player in ryan stonehouse emerge as a shocking force at the punting position i mean uh, Kern even admitted to uh, admitted to the media he said he, uh, you know stonehouse is a hell of a punter in more or less, you know, th- that, that type of terms. Other words, he seemed understanding of the fact. I mean, it makes sense. Brett Kern's getting up there in age, 13 seasons with the team. Uh, you're kind of, it's, you're, it's kind of a no-brainer situation for Tennessee. You're getting an undrafted guy who's going to be much cheaper than Brett Kern. Um, you can sign him for pennies on the dollar compared to what you were going to have to pay Brett Kern. They freed up a decent amount of cap space there. And at the end of the day, when it got down to brass tacks, Brett Kern also, um, he was also doing better as far as statistics were concerned in regard to actually punting. So no brainer situation it seemed right there for Tennessee, although it was tough for them to make the decision because Brett Kern had been with them for so long and he had been so good with them during that time. Uh, I read in the Democrat and Chronicle earlier this afternoon that Brett Kern was eighth all time in NFL history with punts inside the 20 yard line and then 19th all time as far as punt average is concerned, 45.9 yards per attempt. So he is free and clear right now, no longer a Tennessee Titan as of this afternoon. And sources have confirmed that the Bills have wasted no time. They have already reached out to him. So you got to think there is really no time to waste here. I wouldn't be shocked if the Bills got something done by tomorrow. But at the very least, by the end of the week here, the Bills will have a new punter. It's just a matter of who. I think Brett Kern makes the most sense. It could be a bit more pricier than the others. But the Bills did want an upgraded punter. That's for sure. And even with a razor gone after drafting him, I think others 
if, if the situation came down to it where a right or razor wasn't on the team, the Bills fan base still wanted a different punter other than Matt Hawk. And if you're able to get a guy in Brett Kern for at least this season until you're able to figure out another situation, if you can get a guy who's been a first team all pro, three straight Pro Bowl selections, an all time great at the position, I guess why not why not take a take a stab at it? And that's exactly what they're trying to do as of right now. Um, now, of course, there could be another selection out of all those names I've listed. I mean, there are plenty of other punters that have been named as far as availability. So it'll be interesting. At the end of the day, I don't anticipate the Bills punting all that much this coming season anyways. With as good as this offense is and as ballsy as Sean McDermott has shown that he is with the play calling and his faith in Josh Allen in this offense, it's not something that I'm overwhelmingly concerned about. I would like to have a punter that you can trust, but it's just something that really isn't going to keep me up at night. So it'll be interesting to see who they go with and how that guy winds up panning out. And maybe I'll eat my words when it comes down to a situation that really screws us over. But until then, I'm just really not all that concerned about it. I am not going to lose sleep over the Bills' lack, uh, you know, lack of success in the punting department as of right now. They're going to figure it out. And whoever they bring in is an NFL punter at the end of the day. Maybe he's not the golden leg, but he's still an NFL punter. And in our current situation where I don't anticipate us needing a punter nearly as much as another team might, it's going to work itself out. So to me, nothing to stress about here. There seems to be plenty of good candidates, decent at the very least. And I trust the Bills organization to wind up finding a guy that will fill that role adequately for the coming season. And then after that, who knows? They'll figure it out then as well. But this coming season, by the end of the week, I would anticipate a new guy will be uh, you know, on the roster at the very latest, you'd have to think by like Wednesday, Thursday, by the time Thursday rolls around, you're a week away. I mean, you got to get a guy in there quick. And I'm sure that that is the top priority right now. Get a guy in as soon as you can, but at the same time, make sure it's the guy that you want. Um, and based on this list of options right now, they can do their due diligence. They just don't have a ton of time to do it. So we'll see. Maybe tomorrow we wind up getting a new punter. But by the end of the week here, at the very latest, we will have a new guy kicking the ball for the Bills. And hopefully it's a guy we do not see on the field all that much at all.